Welcome to We Might Be Drunk. Hey, hey. Special Valentine's Day edition. Look at that. Matt Peters, you, you did it again. Very romantic. He, he won't even have sex with his wife, but he'll <laughs> doll this place up like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's... This is, my, my, my girl's going to watch this and she's going to be like, you didn't do this shit for me. I know. Well, I got to get you a threesome at my house. Yeah. Uh, my you house peg me, like I'll hell. fuck her. It'll be a whole thing. <laughs> uh, we got a great guest here, a, a relationship expert. Blaine Anderson, thanks for joining us. Also, later we have two other potential love experts that we have joined That's us. That's true. But, we'll see. But uh, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here with the romantic setup. Do it's you, really good. Do you want a box wine? I mean, why not, right? All right. I've got a good box. <laughs> Boy, that's heavy. I forgot. I used to do this for my mom when I was a kid. She drank Franzia? She drank Franzia in that big glass jug. What was that jug? It was some Italian name. Pull up the jug. You know the jug. It had the little handle. I don't uh, know. Carlos something. This stuff used to give me the worst hangovers. Oh, it's Oh, you bad. don't need to open that for me. I'm actually fine with oh, the more really? stuff. Well, I'm going to open it anyway. <laughs> okay, Carlo if you're going to open it. Carlo Rossi, that was it. I that remember this shit. That caused a lot of crying. When, <laughs> but when you, were, when you were a kid, or in college at least, not when I was a kid. We'll get some for Charlie. But uh, no, you, do, you do the sangria. You know, you have a friend make the sangria with the Franzia. Holy shit, or the, the next day. Or the slap the bag. Did you ever slap the bag? What's, What's that? that? You don't know about slap the bag? We no. don't believe in domestic take abuse. The, <laughs> take that bag out of the box, and you have a box. You have a bag inside of a box while you're chugging it, or someone's oh, drinking it. Someone's wow. slapping oh, wow! the bag and gets it flowing faster. Man, you are a relationship I went to U of expert. A. <laughs> oh, okay. How does one U become a. a relationship expert? Um, University I'm a of dating anal. coach. A dating so coach. Sorry, maybe I missed. Someone I'm... of a dating a relationship expert, but I'm a dating coach specifically for men. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're like Hitch. Yeah. For, yeah. Yes. They call me Hitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or bitch. <laughs> for two of us. What do you do for gays? <laughs> so you help. Uh, do, you, do you help gay men as well or just straight uh, no, men? No. I focus on men who are interested in dating women. Because you know women because you're a woman. Yeah. So it's easier that way. Yeah. Where are you at on fuck boys? <laughs> what do you think? Those are not really my clients. The fuckboys, they can do your thing, enjoy yourself. My clients are more anxious, attached, looking for a relationship, Ugh. want to figure out what they're maybe doing wrong that's leading them to not have success with women, how to better market themselves, how to build confidence right. and attract awesome girls. How do you, don't you get confidence though from getting laid? That can help. So sometimes you have to start a little lower on like maybe where you want Bang to end up. Bang a six up. and then yeah, maybe. Yeah, and work your way up to a 10. There's some yeah. strategy to that. Yeah, Are we talking really ages? Not... Yeah. Six? Oh, you bang sorry. a six-year-old, right? <laughs> no? I was thinking the level, you oh, know. Oh, okay. All right. Hot scale. Yeah. Attractiveness scale. Well, don't you find that the dating landscape is a little fucked up right now? Or am I crazy? Is that just my algorithm? All I see is like men aren't uh, finding women anymore and women are off on OnlyFans and they can't get along and this and that. No, I think the landscape has changed and that's partially why I have a job is because it's tough out there. Totally. It's like the online presence, the social media, the dating apps. It's not intuitive. How would you know how to create a little profile that markets yourself to a woman who you don't know and don't understand, which is really where I come in and I'm like, okay, these pictures... This is what you're going to say about yourself based on who you are yeah. to attract the right type of woman. That's cool. You're, yeah. you're definitely, I mean, you're helping probably some incels too, right? Uh, I mean, you might be stopping a mall shooting. That's true. I would love to take credit for that. Yeah. Um, I, I get a lot of incel comments on my social media that are just like, women are the worst. Oh, like, uh, that's you know. Matt. <laughs> that's been lovely to communicate with. I don't believe that for a second. All right. Uh, that's so, scary though. They're not really like who I'm at least reaching out to try and help. Right, right, right. Have you ever, ha- has it ever started, you know, contentious like that? And then you're like, I could help you. Oh, um, that's a good question. I, I don't know. Like no one though I've worked with one-on-one because if someone's like that, I'm like, I don't think I can help you. Or at least like we aren't meant to work together. Like I, I want someone who's like, Hey, I think you can help me make change. Like I'm excited about this. I know I can do better. I like, like women, not right. Like, I hate women. And I want to, what, what's a, like, give me an example of a guy who comes to you. Who's like a mess 
Like, how do you, well, a mess where do you would start? Be too strong. Like I wouldn't say most of my clients are actually messes. They're really great guys. Oftentimes I call, I have like a t- couple different profiles of men I work with. One is the engineer who may or may not be an engineer. Or Usually Asian. works in a, yeah, <laughs> often is an Asian, oh. works in a technical field, spends a lot of time behind a cu- computer, doesn't interact with that many yeah. women, mm-hmm. but actually usually has a lot going for him in his personal and professional life and just wants his dating life to be at that same level. And it's usually just making a few small tweaks and you know kind of polishing the edges and then he gets a great result i get wedding announcements i've had baby announcements wow hey yeah well i request done. that the child's middle name is blaine if they do work if it works out <laughs> sure but i haven't had any takers on that yet well blaine could go either way yeah exactly so you Doesn't get matter the sex man woman trans that's a three for yeah there you yeah. go but hey, yeah, I don't know. If, I mean, I don't want to sound mean, but this you think twenty years ago, this job might not have been as popular. No, but not now at all. I think we need it. Well, and it'd be harder to find customers because you can only you're really twenty years ago only who you had access to. And I find all my clients on Instagram. Oh wow! So I'm putting out content that's giving tips. The algorithm is amazing. It yeah. just puts me in front of single guys. Guys will be like, yeah, I broke up with my girlfriend. And the next day, you know, you were on my explore page. I'm like, thank you, Instagram. That's hey, how it's supposed to work. Beautiful. Is, is there ever a guy who you're like, you can feel like his intentions are impure and, and he's like, he just wants to fuck a lot? Or are you okay with that? If a guy's like, I need to get my confidence up. I got, I got to get my numbers up. Yeah. I don't inherently have a problem with that. So I don't. As long as you aren't tricking anyone into anything, sure. you know, like no chloroform. Yeah, no chloroform. <laughs> That's my number one yeah. rule, my dating rule. But otherwise, like if you just want to have fun and you want to have hookups, like that's cool too. Sure, I agree. I agree too. Yeah, you yeah. Get that out of your system and then find your partner later. Or Especially not. if you've been struggling, like maybe you you'll be better in an actual relationship if you get that out of your system. Yeah, learn a little in the bedroom first. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yes. This find, find this clit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the supposed clit? Where is this? That's a myth. <laughs> well, I, there's a weird double standard where, you know, women if women act slutty, they get called sluts, they're made fun of, and that sucks. I say, slut it up, ladies. Go you had nuts. a great bit about that back in the day. Thank Mark, you. Mark had like a three-minute bit of defending sluts before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> defending sluts. The one thing that I get a lot of shit about in the equality stance is who pays on a first date. Oh, yeah. I they always get angry pay. in the comments. I've never not yes, paid. Yes, you always pay. Yeah. It's just what you do. It's just evolution. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it makes sense. But actually, like, you yeah, know, no, like, I pay in too. all species, like, the man is the pursuer pretty much. Sure. Like, it make, it, there are reasons for that. And if you want to give yourself the best odds, I get that all the time. It's like, well, it's not fair. What if she asked me out? Like, I'm, I'm not here giving advice on what's fair. I'm just, like, telling you, how to play the game a bit better so you can get better results. Right. If you want better results, pay for dates. Yeah, I I agree. I I, always pay, but one time a girl recommended an Orthodox Jewish restaurant. (gasps) The bill was $375. Uh, Because, yeah, because a rabbi has to bless this uh, lamb, I guess. So it's, really? it's upcharged an extra couple hundred. So it's not even because the food is better? Like it you're was pretty caviar, good food, honestly. Just but, blessed? But she saw the bill because I angled it to show her, you know? <laughs> and, uh, no. Yeah, I was like, you should know. Right. But, uh, it's a Jewish restaurant. You should know. <laughs> the bill should be this big. <laughs> just so everybody can see it. Oh my God, look yeah. at this. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, that is a... Uh, just pay. Uh, yeah, guys, you just should pay. Also, it just shows that you can pay. Yeah. If you're cutting corners on date one, you know. Totally. And also, I was on the uh, the Bumble for a while, which was, you know, the, the Bumble. Bumble. <laughs> because the lady has to initiate. And boy, I got to say, though, the female pickup line is tough. Not saying all men are Rico Suave, but some of these ladies would be like, how's your Tuesday? I'm like, come on, that's what you got? If you just said, hey, uh, I'll blow you. You'd be we'd we'd be at this Jewish restaurant it's a, in an it's hour. A better, it's, it's a better, a better pickup, pickup line. line. It is better. So it's just, better than just hi. That's what guys can. Oh, about. Like, the hi. She just says hi. Well, she's just opening it, so now you have to do the work. Exactly. And, like, turn exactly. it around and like have the what's a good opener. for what's for guys? What's a good pickup line? Good question. Well, it's so like an opener on a dating app. Yeah, I would say look at her profile and try and pick something that's unique to her profile. Because that's going to be more interesting. Everyone's, how is your weekend? How is your right, day going? Like, right. It's so boring. Can you look for something in her profile that other people aren't going to notice? Like, Good call. Does she have, like, is the dog doing something weird in the background? Or, like, is she at a place that you know of? Like, just comment on it or ask I think a lot of that. those guys are messaging so many women. 
Yeah. That they're just writing like kind of a generic thing to all totally. of them. And they're like, all right, let's right. see. It's like just throwing bait out there. Yeah. Like, Casting who's a who's wide gonna bite? Net. Yeah. It's a slot. But, if, but if you see a real winner on there, you get you're right. I think I think you need an original. You absolutely you do. You look at the profile, you make a joke out of one of her prompts or something, right? Right. I always start with a what do you think of Palestine? Yeah. <laughs> Just get some light yeah. in there. I think yeah. Gaza on a first date is important. Agreed. You got to yes. talk about it. Figure um, out who's, who's on what side. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of politics and religion on every date. Perfect. Go right yeah. in with that. Uh, let, me, let me throw this idea at you. You're an expert. Dating app, to me, the flaw of it is you can make your own profile and put the photo of your choice. But I don't care what you think about you. I want to know what other people think about you. It should be more like Yelp. <laughs> Right? It's a great idea. It's an idea, you know? I, I got another add-on to that. You can do a lot of great with, you know, with your pictures, but nothing for your voice. Ooh. I don't no, know you what can your do voice your voice. You can, you well, can do not, voice prompts. I guess I haven't been on one in a while, but, yeah. same. but I, I would, you know, you'd meet this gorgeous woman, then you'd show up and you'd be like, what the fuck was that? That voice? That was crazy. I've had that the other way. I've, yeah. <laughs> Somebody wants this thing. Well, I feel you, like voices are important. Yeah. Well, just vibe is important mm-hmm. too, right? Where you, you, you meet someone at a bar. I, I'll see a picture of someone and not think she's hot and then see her at a bar and be like, oh my God, she's gorgeous. I mean, something about it, just like a, the whole package is important. Agreed. That's why dating apps are tough. I'm much more of a... You, they're necessary evil. Like when guy work with a man, I'm like, okay, yeah, we're gonna like get you a good dating app. Which is the best well, one to use for for men? It just it really depends where you live. Oh, yeah, it's like you have You're, to kind you of, live in Atlanta, right? Uh, Austin, Texas. Austin. Yeah, so which you, is the best one in Austin? Uh, Bumble and Hinge are both pretty good. Hinge I think like Bumble is because it's uh, founded there, or like based oh. there. They have more users there. Mm. But then I've heard in other cities, you kind of have to experiment and see what the people in your area. But if you live in like. I don't know, Daytona, like you probably have to use like Tinder or something. Yeah, like they yeah, they're behind. Yeah. What yeah, if you live I in Wuhan? Lo- I remember, lo- <laughs> sorry, sorry. I remember logging on in Buffalo and I was like, why does every chick look like Artie Lang? Here? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Well, they're named after where they live. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, but, that's no, true. You're, I think some of the cities, like, they haven't caught up to, I guess those seem like the hipper ones. You're yeah. in Austin, but uh, so. That's the move. What about if a guy wants to meet someone in person? Would you say that's the tough these days? Is it though? Why do you say it's tough? Well, you got to jump through uh, over some landmines. I've heard. Uh, I'm 40, so I'm an old queef. But I've heard some young ladies talking in my dungeon, and they'll say like, uh, "This guy walked up to me at a bar. It was so weird and aggressive." And you're like. Well, what was he supposed to do? Well, Message he's being you from weird the... and aggressive. I think like that's the problem. But I actually, so I just launched a new course, Saint Shameless Plug. It's called Approach Academy, and it's literally teaching guys how to approach women. Okay. I conducted a survey of thirteen thousand American women, actually UK and US, and ninety eight percent of them said they wish they were approached more. Oh wow! Really? Because... But they're picturing a certain guy. They're not picturing him. <laughs> You know, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you say they wish they were approached more. What about snuck up on? How do they feel about that? <laughs> See, that's the difference. They don't less sneaking up, okay. more appropriate approaching sure. in daylight, like not dark alleys, not empty parking lots. Okay, I'm at a loss here. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> those are those were your go-to's. I'm confused. <laughs> um, that, yeah, that makes sense. Bars. I agree. Bars. I mean, Mark. We said you had never. Mark is being modest. He never had a problem getting laid. I, I remember seeing Mark in the wild, and he's. What was your pickup line? I had a few, but, uh, but the, this was a good one. I thought I would go up to you and I go, "Hey, white pants, bad for spotting." <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's good. <laughs> I would say uh, we, got, we got another one. Uh, oh man, if I wasn't gay, that would always get a laugh. And then they'd go, "Oh, too bad." I go, "Actually, I'm not. Let me buy you a drink." Oh, yeah, like that, that one's kind of cute. All right, <laughs> it, it would always it would always work. All you need is just to get the couple. Oh, here come our other there. dating experts. Oh, speak of these uh, dating act. Look at these guys. Look at good. Come on in. They look like this dating is, experts. This is Blaine. Yeah. Hi. 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 Happy Valentine. Nice. Are, the Are You Garbage Boys? Yeah. yeah. Can you go around, yes, uh, go Blaine? There. Trailer What's up, buddy? Happy Valentine's. Kevin. We, we got you some box you. wine, oh, some it. shitty champagne. Ooh, make with the chocolate. So this is Blaine. This is uh, Kevin and Foley from the Are You Garbage podcast. Okay. A, a great yes, pod. Yeah, thanks for having York. us. Yeah, she's, no, I'm okay. Thank you. She's plugging her uh, dating site, and he's yeah. plugging Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> Both here. don't work. You lost, you lost the Foley, I think. Thanks, buddy. You're, thank you're you. down a lot. You're looking good. I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Still disgusting, but <laughs> hey, staying on brand. Slightly disgusting. So she's teaching how to approach a lady at a bar. 
Just because it's a, it's a it's a lot of navigating, tough tough That's sledding. That's happening right days. now. Is yeah, it? right. I don't, <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't have to. I don't have to hit on Volley. Hi, I'm Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, role play. Do you, do you want to go back to my house? How did you got? You're in a relationship. I'm right? married. You're yeah. Married. Yeah. Mm. Are you married? Just got engaged, dude. Whoa! Whoa. Congrats. Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Have Named to do Ronnie. That. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fireman. Well, how'd you meet her? Uh, we met at a comedy club here in New York. And face to face. Face to face. Old yeah. fashioned way. We love that. The old fashioned way. We were uh, we were friends for a little while. I uh, got hammered at a party, hooked up. That was it. Hey, yeah. Mazel Tov. Thank you. How about you? How'd you meet yours? Uh, same thing, comedy club. She was wow. really? you're, dealing, you're dealing with people. We have access. It's late at night. There's drinking. We're all drunk. <laughs> yeah, there is there is a built Some in advantage. advantage. There. Yeah. Sure, for sure. Yeah. I met her at the old stand. His has a little little wow. story to it. Actually is a romantic. Yeah, I all met right. her. She was in town. She's from Germany and she was in town for a weekend. She had like a layover from Costa Rica before she went back to Germany. So she was here for the weekend, went to the stand. I made a move, shot me down. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on the show. I had just moved to New York. So you're like hanging out. You know what I mean? Like sure. at the end of the night, we're just hanging there. And she's like, we start talking, whatever, like real kind of passively. And then she uh, asked her for more bread. She's like, are you on the show? And I was like, nah. She's like, are you a comedian? And I'm like, yeah, you know, that's like the only card you got. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. She's like, are you on the show? And I, just, I wasn't working the club. I'm like, nah, not that I, you know, just so she started it. She started That's it. That's huge. And then uh, I was like, nah, not tonight. And she's like, why? You're not funny enough? And I was like, well, there's a lot of Whoa. politics involved. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hang out a bunch. You got to you gotta show face and everything. Yeah, Start yeah. busting my balls, lady. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so then I ended up, someone was running a five-minute set for like the Tonight Show. I think Monroe, when Monroe did the Tonight oh, Show, yeah. didn't show up because he was like caught somewhere else. So they were like, oh, we have five minutes. Do Who wants to fill it? And Donnelly's like, put up, Kevin. Because like yeah. Donnelly was a drinking buddy. And she had gone down just to watch the show. She had gone down in the show. So I wasn't on the show. We already were like hitting wow. it off. I wasn't on the show. Then I came down. Did okay. You know, <laughs> <laughs> good enough to get married, I guess. That would suck if you went on. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> just have a panic attack. Yeah. Just start shit like, your pants. You're go She's from like, upstairs. Oh. <laughs> but this is how hard it is to meet a woman. All these all things that had to fall in line. Happen. Yeah. Monroe had to be late. Exactly. Finally had to be a booze bag. Right. You know, all this Monroe stuff being late isn't the most sure, crazy the thing that happened. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. back in my single days, I would literally go up to girls at a bar, and just the opening is so hard because it's a big wall you got to get over. And I would go, uh oh, and I would drop my phone with me and Conan on the <laughs> Front. Yeah. Real subtle. Yeah, because like I'm, it's so much work to get to that, you here? know? Yeah. My, my move was I would I would be on the phone and I would just loudly like fake on the phone, loudly talking like that's not enough money for the children's hospital. Yeah, we're gonna we need more. That two or three and I'd be like, sorry, it's like, trying to put I'm a trying, on trying to raise yeah. money here. I'm so <laughs> hey Sam, nice to meet you. That was that's good. It did pretty well. Did all right. You guys yeah. are good looking guys though. You're in shape, good looking yeah. guys. Yeah, we're fighting up the battle. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. yeah but you're all funny. That's huge for getting girls. I know you all of hot wives and girlfriends yeah, because you're hot funny. Girls say. Yeah. Get they you. always <laughs> say that. They say that. I swung no, way out of my true. weight class. I was also probably 45 pounds lighter at the time. So yeah. I got her while Smart. I had like a two two years of looking okay and I and then I married her and blew up. Yeah. Because you can't just go up and go, hey, I'm funny as hell. You know, you have to say something normal, then say something funny. You for sure have tried that though. I can <laughs> I've, I've tried it all. Do it. tried everything. I hit what, her with a what, seltzer. What worked on you? So I met my husband at a workout class and he literally just walked up to me and was like, hey, I've seen you here before. So I wanted to introduce myself. And I was like, oh, do you work here? And he was like, no, we've been taking class together for months. And OK. Like, oh, OK. Like, nice to meet you. And then we, and he's like, he walked away after that. And I was like, that was kind of weird. OK. But then planted I planted a seed. Him. Yeah, he planted the seed. And mm. then over multiple interactions. Now I had seen him. Now I recognized him. We chatted. And then he like asked me out after we talked like four or five times. He's a good looking guy, I would assume. He's at a workout class. If it That's was me, he would have tased me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would have got exactly. hit with the yeah, if, he walked, if he walked into Barry's, you'd be like, why are you here? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> He's yeah, he was out, doing the classes, the not just bar. hanging out at the smoothie bar. Is there a vending machine in here? <laughs> <laughs> just just trying to get on. a Twix. <laughs> uh, did you at that time when he came up and said, hi, I'm Steve or whatever, yeah. did you think... Like, oh, is this guy hitting on? Did you? No, he not was because he wasn't hitting on me. He was just like saying hello. But for a guy, yes, he was. Yeah, he well, was. Okay, he was. was. Yeah. But he wasn't. He didn't make the move at that time. That's a move. Yeah, yeah that yeah, is. Like, that no is. Move that's is a move. the move I teach. Okay. Girl walk up and said, "Hi, I'm Sally." I'd be like, "This girl wants to fuck me." Like for sure, <laughs> sure. she's hitting on. Like that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Will you marry me? Yeah. I met Matt's son. I was like, "This kid wants to fuck me." Dude. <laughs> this is oh, weird. There's a kid here. Yeah, this is crazy. 
got the headphones on. He's all right. Yeah. Noise yeah. canceling. Uh, all right. So he walked up. But see, that's the other thing is like, I think a lot of guys at a bar are trying to get laid that night. So that's the other factor. It's like, this guy did four four attempts. Yeah, it's a He's going game. for a single. We're, you're going for a home run if you're yes. at the bar. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. And so when I, like the, the clients I work with and the guys I teach, most of them are, they, bars aren't really their place. Like they don't excel in they're the not, bar. They're not, they're, they're not do, extroverts. Oftentimes, no. Because right. you do kind of have to be funny at the bar or, or you have to have something or you have to get her drunk enough or like something Jesus has to Christ. happen. It's but. 2024, lady. <laughs> <laughs> trying to jam me up. She's good. But, so what I, I say, you p- figure out a hobby, like whether it's comedy, you know, if you want to be funny or you want to hobby, pick okay. anything. It, literally no, any hobby's good. hobby. <laughs> hobby's good. Hobbies where girls frequent are better. Okay. Could be working out. I'll cross it could be, out like, dodgeball. Pickleball. <laughs> yeah. Dodgeball, Zog Sports. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It's right? Actually, a good one. Yeah. What's what's another good one? Like you, because you want the ratio in your favor, right? So yeah. what's what's the one yoga. that's not like yoga would be yeah. good. Yeah. Are you to, creeped out if a guy's in yoga? Because like that would in my there's lots like, of guys in yoga. Oh yeah, how they're hotter than us. Didn't like dudes approaching them at the gym. So that's why, like my husband's move, you have to. It's the longer game. You have right. to go over. You have to talk to her. What once, gym have you been to? Again. Again. <laughs> 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 not a lot of Planet Fitness anymore. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> this is good stuff. Yeah, it's all yeah. I'm learning a lot. So you're like a hitch. Yeah. We did that joke. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. Every, everyone has done that joke on uh, me. It wasn't it's a joke. It's it was an observation. <laughs> I apologize for my half friends over here. Sorry, I'm a snitch. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, okay. So what's another, like, what's another type of guy that you're like, what was the hardest case you've ever seen without? Ooh, good oh. question. This is going to be tough for me. Okay, so I was mentioning I worked with a lot of I work with a lot of engineers or guys who like fall into that category. Inevitably, a lot of Asian guys and Indian guys who usually live in the United States or in the UK. I work with guys all over the world, and they really want to date white girls, mm. and like they and which is fine. That's your preference if that's what you want. This what is guy what do you think that name, is? The exoticness. Oh, from okay, like, okay. From where they, you know. I guess so, but black is exotic access. too. <laughs> they they want white girls. I, I hear it all the time. I don't I'm know. I, I don't know. I'm like, could we at least be open to like also your race? Yes. Like, I think we should. And the problem isn't that what I've seen. It's not that white. And they they It'd say be great if you push them into staying with their me. race. You're like, let's keep it together. <laughs> yeah, I don't, we don't mix. I don't like mixing. <laughs> yeah. you know, I, I'm all for the mixing, and they're like, and a lot of them are saying, white girls don't like us. You know, like we have brown skin, and it's really not that. But people want someone who feels similar to them, and from what I've seen. Birds of a feather flock sure. together is much more true than opposites attract when it comes to dating. Mm. So if your name is Deekshit and you're from <laughs> okay. India, hey, hey, dating, a show here. <laughs> dating Annabella from Connecticut right. poses yeah, some challenges. Laid, huh? <laughs> that is some Barry. baggage. Yeah, that is some serious baggage. Yeah, there's a lot of cultures to, sure. to learn about. That, and that's what the problem is. It's more like if she's seen you on a dating app and she can't pronounce your name and you look really different than she's making a snap second decision of like, oh, I have nothing in common with this guy. Like right. next, next, next. And so that's, you know, that can be challenging. And that's where in person, if you're able to connect with her, you're going to have more of a shot, but if you're really different culturally. Like what do you really have in common to be dating? Off the anyway. jump. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah for sure. and how often do you stay with the client until they, until they get a girlfriend? No, it's like a set package okay. and then they're on their own after that unless they want to re shit would still be a client probably. <laughs> <laughs> 50 Poor, years. Hey, bird shit, get over here for a second. <laughs> Poor Deek shit. Hey, bird shit. He's listening now. He's like, this used to be my favorite podcast. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot of autistic listeners. <laughs> but did, was, was Deek shit help? Did you help him? Um, He actually purchased one of he my courses. Himself, he killed himself Later. <laughs> he wasn't a one-on-one client, so I didn't track his progress progress as closely. I saw his name come through, then I was like, "How closely oh. do you track progress?" So it depends. If you're a one-on-one client, then I might be talking to you often, and like I- I've actually gone to some weddings for one-on-one clients. They can invite me to their wedding. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. fun. That's Which cool. Is cool. Um, Does so anybody I- try to put the moves on you? I Not was thinking the really. same thing. 100%. Like that's an expensive. Yeah, right there. That's I mean, the movie, on Instagram, too. sure. Like yes. I wear a ring on both hands. Like. Nice. It's very, oh, like, apparent, wow. but people don't see it, and I get lots of DMs, but n- no one, like, buys a package and then tries to hit on me. That'd be, like, a very expensive way to hit on gotcha. somebody. Gotcha. Yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> Slide at the DMs. Save my money. <laughs> <laughs> I met a few girls by paying a lot of money. 
<laughs> Interesting. Yeah, that's awesome. The Indian guys like the honky whore. <laughs> well, all right, do you also consult with any women in all of this or no? It's no, all just, no. just men. Yeah. Oh, we got some questions here. So oh, here we go. Here's one. My lady won't do things with me in bed. She used to do with other guys. What do Whoa, I do? Well, that's, that's weird. That's fucked up. Well, what is the what did the other guys have that you don't have? Like, also, why is she telling them? Yeah, why? That like, shouldn't yes. be coming up that often that you're like, Gary used to do this. And you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Deke shit used to. <laughs> Deke shit used you to be no gun in my head. You are no my friend. By the way, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not asking how other dudes used to fuck my girl. Yeah, I don't, yeah that's something I'm not that's, super curious about. No. I don't know what you would do. I don't have any advice for that. I feel like you either need to like get over it and just like stick with what you've got. You have to break up with her if like it's really bothering you, or be more persuasive. I guess it's like, what are you trying to get her to do? Like, well, she should talk her into it. She should lie in his favor and be like, "Oh, the last guy was tiny, so I could fit my ass. Sure. You can't. That's that would good. be a good excuse. That's right. His name was Deke Shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, poor he got Deke Shit all over his dick. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that that's a tough tough spot to be in. For I this think guy. That, that that also could be you know people you know sometimes when they're young they're more adventurous and they try stuff and they're experimental and then when they mm-hmm. settle down mm-hmm. with somebody you know that they don't want to they don't want to do that shit anymore. There was a time and place for that. Oh, it's, it's time over. Change. It's college. Yeah, it's I don't know. I feel like everybody's eating butt now though. That that's like a good. I easy. keep forgetting there's a kid here. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> he read this news like what does that mean? Oh. Uh, Jeez, I gotta have him put a sleep mask on him as well. <laughs> Your wife is gonna win so much in the custody battle. Yeah, when this is over. <laughs> Just be, play like one clip and it's some over. Some sort of law. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What's the next one? What's better, celebrating Valentine's Day before or on the actual date? I think if you're going to celebrate Valentine's Day, you should do it at home either way. So it doesn't really matter if it's like before nice. or the day of. Like going to a $300 prefix dinner with like everyone else on like all going out for Valentine's Day feels cheesy. It's sucker move. Yeah, sucker move. Like make dinner at home or like get takeout and plate it cute. A little you're more already, special. Yeah, more special. You're already like at home then. Things can escalate quicker. Like mm-hmm. keep it at home. That's a lot of pressure. It's like New Year's. It, it's yeah. pressure and the payoff is never worth it. Yeah. True. I have I have a personal, I could, I ju- this just has hit me. I could use some advice. What would you tell a guy, you know, maybe a 37 year old comedian who just realized his anniversary is tomorrow? No! Oh! Just that just fucking take hit those me. home with you. You can have them. <laughs> take them. Jesus, that's that could help. What anniversary number is it? That's important. Four. Okay, that's not a big one. I got it. Take her back to the stand and then it's... do a set and actually do well. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I'll bail and then you do there five. You, there and you, go. You, you can do a set. What's be tomorrow? Like... Tomorrow you can make a dinner rest somewhere, can't you? Sure. Yeah, we're actually we're yeah. We're uh, headed out of town right after this. She's picking me up now, so I'm kind of short-handed at the. Yeah, mm-hmm. that just hit me. We'll help you with this. We'll figure something it's out. A, I know, yeah, it's it's the week of Valentine's Day, but what mm. if you like plans like oh I planned this trip to Cabo or I got you Taylor Swift tickets something that you can just buy online. But then the he has future. to go see Taylor Swift. It's true. <laughs> it's like twenty G's. I did. I know. There's so I was looking. It's not their 40th wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> what is a good anniversary date though? I really like experiences, like something mm. you can do together. <laughs> okay. So who do you enjoy Come or like quick? you both enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> like whether it's a show or... That's good. You can get tickets. Yeah. Anything. And then sky you don't have to jumping. do anything. Go sky jumping with her. Sky diving. Sky diving. Yeah. Sky uh, jumping. Sky <laughs> jumping. Sky, I was like, what is he that? He just mushes words together. <laughs> Either way, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about skydiving. Go ice rolling. Skating. <laughs> <laughs> Take her sledding, dumb. Yeah. <laughs> or I'll have I, to figure out. I'll just I'll try to pull the trigger and be like, hey, I got tickets to a show next week or surprise. something. Yeah. What Broadway. is she? Aren't what we near she? the Diamond District? Get her a little oh, jeez. <laughs> Pick her up Come some on. ice, dog. What? No. Does she do anything for you? This feels a little... Where's the, where's the equality? By the yeah. way, thanks for calling it the Diamond District and not the Jew District. <laughs> that was pretty cool. You mean yeah. Jewland? Jewland? <laughs> <laughs> worst amusement park ever. <laughs> it's all tunnels. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any rides above ground here, Moishi? Um, That's good real estate, man. Uh, they, they've already conquered the top. Yeah. They've gone underground now. Woo, no Jews in the building, but they're under it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to figure out something. We we also never really, because it is very close to Valentine's Day, we always kind of just like, oh, we'll do Valentine's Day for that. But uh, 
That pressure is on the guy, though. That's a that's yeah. a guy lady thing. Yeah, I don't know. Anniversaries to me aren't like that big of a deal. I agree. Like, yeah, we don't. Like, it's not a huge get her deal. A car, get her a card. Write a really nice note in it. You guys about got a card you on you, buddy? <laughs> She's be out front. Around here. We can fold something. <laughs> can, we get, can, can we get an intern? To, <laughs> can we get an intern to run the CVS for him right here? Yeah, there we go. It'll get save her, his get him a birthday card. Happy retirement. Feel better, Grandma. What the? I'm sorry for your loss. Happy Kwanzaa. This guy's a bum, though. Uh, yeah, Valentine's Day is those really on on the guy. Yeah, to do something nice. I and I also think Valentine's Day is kind of silly, but hey, okay. she's I, a I like, it's very like manu. It's like I know it is that old hack thing of like it's like a made up holiday, but it's like I don't know. You should be doing cool shit with your significant other. All the it's like very I fake agree. to you know. Yeah. It's just like this is what are we doing here? You Corporations. Know? Yeah. yeah, we go out to dinner already a bunch, and we do yes. cool shit. We go away. Like, what's this? And I have to do it today. They used thing. to put a lot of pressure on that when we were kids. Remember in, in class, if everybody handed out Valentine's oh. and you didn't get one, you felt like a little Oh, those little hearts. You missed out on the lollipop. Yeah. Brutal. I love those little hearts, those little conversation hearts. Yes. Oh, I crush those. They're, they're like little Any time of the year, really. We got them right here. They're yeah. fatty. Yeah, they're like Tums. The romantic Tums. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do taste like Tums. That's a good one. I, you know what? I'm hey, I hadn't thought about that, but they really kind of do. They're just chalky. Chalky, yeah. yeah. Let's do another one. Are those w- the regular ones or the dirty ones? Have you see the dirty ones? Oh, Dirty, yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's like, says like, oh, like, it's thing, me on it. Yeah, what do you think about that stuff? Is that stuff um, in poor taste? No, I think those kind of things. I would rather Weird. have the dirty ones than the regular, like hard. Yeah, so okay. this is just funnier. a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's homo. Homo it says love you, Ava. Uh, they oh, are dirty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a deep cut. My wife wants to have uh, a three-way with another guy. I suggested a pre-op trans woman. Thoughts? Uh, <laughs> Still man, a dick, got, but a pretty dick. You are dick. in a deep, dude. Wow. That, would, that would have never been my suggestion ever. Wow. I would have been. Deal. I would have said divorce and moved on. This guy's thinking outside the box. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? That doesn't feel like the same thing either of what she's going for. Like, yeah, you, where sure. do you stand on threesomes? As long as both pe- all three people sums? are down. Yeah. <laughs> Sound cues. Get back here. Get in. As long as everyone's down. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? But hey, keep her. I think uh, I would is that totally something you down. can get over though? If she's like, I want another dude, like, because obviously every guy no. would is the you know, I, and it probably is a double standard, but it's like every guy's like, I would love the the two girls, yeah. Oh, but yeah. then if your wife's like, I want two guys, I feel like that would be a tough thing if you said no to for everybody to overcome. But I that's always out there. If everybody's being honest, the reason you want you would want two girls is because you do want a little variety, and it's the same way on the, on yeah, the lady I side. Agree with yeah, that. Yeah. I want with two that. girls, two different girls. I don't want <laughs> I don't want her there because if she's and there's no disrespect, <laughs> but if she's there, it's gonna be a fight. Of course. Because I'm like, oh, you paid more attention to her. Well, she's the guest. You got to be nice <laughs> to the guest. You got to be nice to the guest. Yeah. I mean, also, if you're going to do this, don't go pre op trans, go deek shit. <laughs> deek shit in there. That way there's no competition. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to be over in the corner by himself. Yes. He's going to be, uh, you know, on the on the, the gaming. Would you console. do a threesome with any of you guys? Would you do that? I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to. I'm I too w- insecure. I, are you saying any combination? Yeah. Oh, I mean, definitely. I probably wouldn't. Like, it's just going to be messy. It's like, just it's messy. Just, you're never. You walk into that room. You you're walking out different people. You're either yeah. You're either you're either menage a trois people, or you're you're an orgy guy, or you're not. You know what I mean? That's not like a thing you do once or twice, and 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 leave it in the room. And it'll be me. looming forever. Everything yeah. will come up. It'll yeah, be all that's right getting thrown face. in someone's yep. face yeah. in the first big blow up. That's exactly. coming out. You know. I used to do a bit about. My ex uh, was like, you should come on my face. And I did. And afterwards, we both had like that moment where we're like, we're not these types of people. Sure. <laughs> it was like that moment where we, like, we thought we were edgier than we were. It was just like, oh. Let's go back to mad about you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> I love you like I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Yeah. I'm too gross for any of that stuff. I can't do that stuff anymore. What do you mean you're too gross? I, threesomes and stuff like that? I'm just, yeah. Every time someone fucks you, it's a threesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least a two and a half. He's got a point, huh? Would my, right. would my date get offended if I gave her too much chocolate? Maybe she thinks I'm a feeder. This guy's a psycho. I think Is that a thing, a feeder, feeder? It's more offensive if you get her, like, diet sugar-free chocolate. <laughs> Agree. Yes. That is worse. Yeah. That Good is point. Worse. Here's a slip fast. <laughs> <laughs> and a washing machine. Slip fast. I forgot about slip fast. <laughs> oh, that's all right. 
There was, I saw uh, there was an onion headline that was like, guy breaks, breaks up with his girlfriend because she actually ate all of her Valentine's Day chocolate. Sure. <laughs> oh, wow. And it's like, there's something true to that. That's but this funny. guy seems like he would like that, you know? Like, he yeah. Wants to, What's maybe a feeder? He is a, I, I think it's a, somebody who just like gets off on f- fattening someone you. up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kind of what I am to you. <laughs> it kind of sounds like this guy is a feeder. <laughs> my mom does that to me. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. If you he wants to give her too much chocolate. Hmm. Yeah, the feeder thing is weird. That's what I I don't even like the fact that you know what that is and you're aware of that means you're too deep in the weeds for me. Also, this guy wants a fat lady. So there's some woman out there who's like, I'm dying to get fatter. I want to eat whatever I want. So they're they're a match made in heaven, but they Mm -hmm. got a meat. Well, we missed one. uh, No, we got that that one. Oh, sorry. My friend spent five thousand dollars on a dating service. I think he's insane. Thoughts? Oh, oh no! Wait, why much... didn't he get in touch with me first? Yeah, you're cheaper than and that. Have huh? we gone no, over I'm the prices? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say it depends what the dating service is. If you're paying five grand to like be able to gift sugar babies presents, yeah, that's fucking insane. But if you want to like, if you're working with a matchmaker who's actually legit, that's cheap. Got and it. if you want to like correct something in your dating life, you could snap your fingers and pay five grand and like start getting laid or like start getting dates. Seems like a pretty good deal. Yeah, Gosh. it depends on what your job is. If you work at Subway, that seems like a bad move. Yeah, but, yeah. but if you're loaded, if you can afford it, yeah. if you can right. afford it, I tell people that all the time. I'm like, don't buy my course or work with me if you can't. If it's going to be a stretch, like that's sure. just going to make your dating life worse. Do you charge more the uglier the person is? <laughs> I would. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I don't. Be I don't. Fifteen k. <laughs> no, like, lucky for them, it's a flat rate. Yeah. Okay. That is not. What if he's five? Three, because that's a uphill battle. Have you ever no had to de- deny somebody of like I can't help you, and I, I don't, I don't want to take your money? Time, Buddy, yeah. get a dog. You're done. <laughs> but I have a five three client who just got his second girlfriend since I've been working Whoa! with him, and is absolutely crushing it. She's eleven, and <laughs> and the girl actually who he's dating now was a girl who turned him down before we started get working out together. Got a little moxie. and was the reason he came to work with me. Because he and, liked her. Yeah, and he was like, I'm doing something wrong. Like, I really like this girl. I thought it was a fit, and she they were friends, and she shut him down. And then we worked together, and then he got a girlfriend. And then the original girl decided she, like, actually liked him. So he broke up with his first girlfriend and went back with the original oh, girl. So who wasn't with him. What? So Man, sometimes you, gotta... you get clients that, like, hey, th- there's this girl that I like. I'm very clear, though, we're not working together to get that specific girl because there's way too much out of everybody's control sure, for us right. to be like, just going after one specific woman. Sure. But in this case... Honey, she's your sister. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, it worked out with them. Like She was like, oh, wow, you like are great now that I, you're doing the right thing. They saw it with, 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 with another girl. That's probably what it was. Yeah. Right. <gasps> She's like, oh, this guy's cleaning up. He's not a Let me get in on that. Yeah. yeah. Women so, like a guy who gets ladies. Sure. Like yeah. Pete Davidson. Yeah. You know, I think yeah. he fucks so many hot women that hot women are like, well, I got to fuck him. Or yeah, else I'm not it's hot. almost like a stamp. Yeah. Yes. Tramp that's stamp. That's all right. Yeah. Okay. I got the breaking relationship news. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, there's been a leak of uh, Drake's penis. Oh. Nice. Um, finally. Whoa. Hey, that was fun. How do we know that's Drake? He, he confirmed it. I thought I only did that. Wait, what he, is he doing? He's. he's... Oops. <gasps> Sorry, oh, he's oh, looking at this. Oh, oh, this has got to be a, some bad kind father. of FDA <laughs> regulation <laughs> here. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's hide the dong here around the the little guy. <laughs> the fucking OSHA better not walk in. <laughs> yeah, we're all geez. fucked. Salik, what, what, he that. confirmed Salik. it. What, what did he Salik say? Salik uses on the deep. I was on the dark web next to his son. <laughs> yeah. What did? <laughs> You've got what? 4chan next to a four-year-old. <laughs> and I know this is a recent tweet, so you probably won't be able to find it, Matt, but what did Drake say? Uh, he, he confirmed it. He said that was me. Th- that's it? Yeah. Eh, good for him. He's owning it. Who posted yeah. it? It looked all right, by the way. Yeah, it wasn't anything to be me. embarrassed about, yeah. I would say. No, good flop on there. Yeah. <laughs> Decent. <laughs> Talking it like it's a piece of New Haven pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. No flop. Sinatra would fly that out from Connecticut. <laughs> 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 the delayed Salik uh, is, is, is on a time delay see that's a perk of a uh, oh, I'm gonna get too too offensive but alright we'll keep moving um, how about that kid he's cute uh, so you, your clientele is mostly Asian no I wouldn't no it's not mostly but there's a good number a I, good wouldn't, I don't know the percentage higher end people guys that do well 
Yeah, professionals. Okay. Did, had, did, are you comfortable saying the prices of the services? Yeah. My, well, I so I have entry level courses that are standalone, shorter courses. Chicks one hundred and one. That start. <laughs> yeah. My chicks one hundred and one starts at like one hundred and forty nine dollars. Okay. So accessible if you have a job. Fingering three hundred two. Uh, <laughs> the get it wet package is twelve hundred. <laughs> I do have a twelve hundred dollar uh, course. That's Ooh. my like master class that inco- re- includes all of the courses that I have okay. within it. And then working with me one on one starts at sixty five hundred. Woo! Dang. And what, what does that get you? Sixty five hundred. Uh, Head. <laughs> I, I was thinking it. Um, no, zo- six Zoom sessions and uh, okay. email coaching and my courses. What are you wearing in the Zoom? <laughs> More than this usually, actually. Oh, but... I'm out. Wait, what's mail coaching? You, you bring you bring in a, another guy? Yeah. Email coaching, like so they oh, get email, email. like, hey, like, coaching. what should I text this girl? Like, she just, you know. Oh I, wow, I that, so it's like, that's, that's a really good tool. That's what they tool. really want. If you have, a, if yeah. you have someone who's well, obviously, you know, well versed in that world to bounce off. What should my response to this be? That's yeah. huge. Yeah. That's a point I had good. a bad experience with that. Years ago, what remember the, the girl that, that I liked that came to the show? Oh, and I yeah. came on too strong in the oh, email. Mike. He sent her an oh. email the next morning where I was yeah. like, "Dude, do not send that." He's like, "Why?" I'm like, "It's psychopath <laughs> level." It was and it a Drake? And then, no, 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 no. and then he's like, "I'm like, don't send it." And he's like, "Well, what if I told you I already did?" I was like, "You'll oh, never gonna hear from girl, her." Ever prettiest again. girl that, that, that I'd ever seen at the time, obviously. Um, <laughs> Good backpedal. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Valentine's Day's coming up. You get me jammed up. Salacuse has already got me in the pen over here. Um, and uh, his car's going to say, because it didn't work out with her. <laughs> right, right. On stage, I, I, I was performing at a club, and on stage, I said that I was shooting something the next day, and it was like something like a, like a student film or something like that. But I was trying to impress her afterwards, and I told her it was Boardwalk Empire. Mm. So we went home that night. We hooked up a little bit, and then she gave me her email, and then... The next day, we sh- that night, we said we were gonna we were gonna make plans and see each other later later the next night. So I went and got my hair cut, like in the twenties. Oh, you know, yeah. So he had like that like high fade fucking to look like you know Steve Buscemi going. Yeah. yeah. And then I sent her this email. I was like, you know, th- it was so great spending the night with you, and your hair smelled so good. Ooh. Yeah. yeah not, a, not a good one. So Why did she give you her email? Also, yes, I that's a. She was trying to get rid of me. Yeah. I don't know. It was info at best. It might have been over before you. Send the email. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. my my instinct too. Is like email. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I was an idiot. I was in that lives. You're like hotbot.com. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. It's got to be so tough for these engineers because you said it's mostly engineer guys. Mm-hmm. They can build a bridge. They can design a, a building and, and structure and all this shit. And they can't think of a text for a lady. That's got to be so tough because I'm the opposite. I can text a lady all yeah, day. But, but also like yeah, you can do. But there's so many things you can do that. You also there's so many things you can't do. Yeah, sure, you know I mean? sure. Like, yeah, outside of this, you're pretty running, bumping oh. into walls and stuff yeah, like that. 100. <laughs> percent Yeah, I can barely. So they're looking at shoes. you they're like this guy. Yeah. Like, this guy can't book a flight. Look but. at these shoes. I just put one knot on there and I slip them on because I don't want to tie them. I'll die. I'll, I'll fall in the street. But yeah, I know what you mean. But I'm just saying you can design a bridge. Yeah, no, and, I get and a it. Space shuttle or whatever the hell, and not even text. No, yeah, text they're really a human smart being. guys. Like I sometimes feel like the smarter they are, like the worse they are. Oftentimes, sure. they're very right. technical. Yeah, yeah, very technical. Very you call us dumb? <laughs> I tend to overthink things. Sure. Right. So sometimes it's just like sending right. me a text. I'm like, yo, you're overthinking There's it. There's no like, feel to don't, it. Yeah. There's no like, oh, I've been or here before. Or just like, before. don't text her back right now. You don't need to say more. Just like right. leave it. And they just right. needed to hear that. And they're like, oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you go through like that. It's it's step by step. Hey, For my one-on-one I broke, I broke a little ground here. We're talking, whatever. Do I say this? Man, I, He's I, think I, said the, I think I said the dick pic too early. Sally, you said him. But yeah, you, it, it's is it's kind of a cool to see the window and how much guys struggle with this. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's like you get why we have school shootings. I feel. I would also. I would also never have the confidence to even. I mean, you're a very attractive lady, but very. Prof- I would, I would Thank never. You. If I like called, I would never. And you answer. I like knocked on the door. And she's like, "How can I help you?" You. Uh, nothing. Never day. mind. Yeah, I go. <laughs> oh, is this the weight room or whatever? Like, I wouldn't fucking. I wouldn't be like, "Yeah, I'm a big cop <laughs> or whatever." Room. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you get Uber Eats by any chance? <laughs> I was uh, looking for the rich guy building. Is this it by any chance? Yeah. So I'm saying that it takes a lot of confidence to overcome that. To you know, ask for help. To ask, yeah, yeah. to ask, yeah. 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 Anybody, Specifically, an attractive woman for help. Anybody go all the way to getting married? 
Yeah, yeah, I've gone to weddings. No kidding. She's yes. killing it. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Had baby announcements. Jeez. And does the, does the lady know? Yeah, Or are usually. you like in the back with like a fake mustache on? No, just like no, give them like a, a point and a wink. She knows. I've met a lot of like their significant others or girlfriends and they're like, and the girls are like, thank you for helping him yeah. like make a decent dating app profile or like thank you for like getting him on track because it's not that these guys are like suck and are helpless. They're awesome guys. They just, it's the upfront thing. Like, right. The part that they just need a little help getting over. Salesmanship and then the girls, too, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's like you're selling yourself. A little pizzazz. It's yeah. marketing and sales. Like, it's not a product problem. It's a marketing problem. That's what I say. Like, we're not oh, changing you. I like that. We're just you present, presenting you a little differently. We're going to authentically market you in a way that women are like, oh, damn. Like, I want to date him and not like, oh, like, what's that? Or even yeah. like, he's a friend. Like, oh, he's really nice, but he's just a friend. Have like, you that's been able to close that at all? Like, oh, he's just a friend? Yeah. 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 Well, because a lot of times it's because these that's guys. That's the toughest one to overcome. They're, <sighs> yeah, they're creating a, they're creating intellectual connections, but they aren't creating emotional or sexual connections. So it's teaching them how to, you know, have more feeling when they're talking to women, how to get women feeling things. Even just as simple as like holding eye contact, touching her knee, like mm-hmm. when you're out, mm. like leaning in, you know, you're not sitting there like all proper with your hands folded, like relax, lean in, like make her feel desired. Yeah. All right. And do you have do you have the hitch rule where it's anybody not, else or it's not just <laughs> it's not just the hookup, right? Check that <laughs> little all kind of mesmerized there, like, all right, so <laughs> she's like, you make a lot of eye contact. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm right she's now. like, you know, make her feel like a woman. I'm like, I'm shit. Yeah. I'm terrible. I know. You mean, forget the anniversary, <laughs> don't have anything planned. Yeah. Do you have the hitch rule where it's not just a hookup, it's it's for a relationship? No, I don't have that rule. Nice. All right. You Wait, do. Man. I like it. What about there girls who want to meet guys? Are they struggling? Yes. Everyone is struggling. Yeah. There's a lot of dating coaches out there for women also. Oh, there are? Yeah. Oh. But I feel like with women, I would feel bad being like, yo, you need to like lose 15 pounds and sure. like, get a new outfit. We're but visual. with guys, I'm like, yeah, you need to like- <laughs> Have you told guys to lose weight? Yeah, or like get healthy. And it depends who they want to date, you know? This is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> but I have guys who like... this quack in here. <laughs> have you told guys to like change up the wardrobe? Oh, yeah. Like, I have a stylist on my team. Yeah, I'll see <laughs> <laughs> because even if you're doing everything right, like you could be doing a lot of like the right things, but you look like you can't like walk up a flight of stairs or like you look like a slob and like your clothes are don't fit you. Right. That was an attack here. Come on. Well, look you, look you look great. You look great. It's brought to you by Factor Meals this uh, week, everybody. Yeah. Sell some mattresses, boys. Are you? I mean, you're engaged and you're stylish. Like, Whoa, you're, stylish. you got a stylish? handsome beard. You got the hat. You look great. Thank you. Hey, yeah. all right. Thank you. It'd be great to be hit on you now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving my wife. <laughs> But like if you yeah, if you are in shape. Say this now. <laughs> yeah, wait till the rubber hits the road uh, like, and these lights turn off. <laughs> if you're getting those things wrong, you can be doing a lot of other stuff right, but still not be getting the results you want. Like you could be doing a lot of the right stuff, but if you look like crap, like, yeah, you're not gonna get a ten if you're not gonna get a girl who looks great. So you need to like sometimes spruce that up as well sure if you want your girl to look like that like if you want her to be fit Mm. and have straight white teeth and shiny hair like you kind of have to have those things not at necessarily the same level but you have to be like conscious of sailing in that direction Mm -hmm. sure have you ever found yourself not before but later like kind of attracted to one of these clients oh to my client another great question yeah i've had some hot clients i'm like oh okay i've set them up with my friends were you doing this before you met your husband no, I okay. wasn't. Ah. Yeah, this was my pandemic baby. Unattainable. Gotcha. Smart. And he's cool with this, obviously. Yeah. Nice. She's not a swinger. She's a goddamn cool professional. She's, she's, I didn't not, mean it like she's that. She's not stripping, dude. <laughs> All right, we got another question. your old man say? You know what I meant. <laughs> How do I tell my girlfriend I'm not into her squirting? Oh, I don't... Is that, I don't think that's something really she's like doing intentionally. What? So. This guy's killing it. He's complaining. If she's squirting, yeah. get have you seen the laundry bills? She might bills? just be peeing the bed. <laughs> that's fine to do in a hotel when someone else is cleaning it. I think mess. you just get into Not in my it. home. Get a tarp. Get my a mom, slip and slide. My room, lady. <laughs> get romantic in the shower, I guess. Sam, did you have a joke about uh, hydration? Yeah, I was, I was with a girl once in uh, Michigan and before she was chugging water. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I have to hydrate before. I was like, I think I might have misrepresented my abilities here. <laughs> <laughs> Saying a five she was, she was a squirter. That's why she had to do that. Jesus. Whoa, yeah. I love the squirting. What happens if she wasn't hydrated, but she's a squirter? It's like a squirt gun that doesn't... She goes into a raisin? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens. She just seizes out. 
It's like a car that won't turn over. How do I date the old-fashioned way? No Tinder, Hinge, etc. Get out there. Talk nice. about it's this. like yeah, pick up some hobbies. Hobbies. Girls sip and like paint's a guy really good, thing. right? <laughs> <laughs> and sip and paint. And there oh yeah, those are paint? cute, but that's not good to oh, meet girls. That's a good. That'd be a good date. It. So did oh, I. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did too at first. Paint. I know what a sip and paint, paint is. Paint. But... <laughs> I think it degenerates. No you guys guy. do inhalants? Is that a, is that a good place to meet broads? <laughs> Sniffing glue. That's all right. That you like to huff? Wait. What are other hobbies? That are really good for this. Ceramics. I think there's lots of ladies. Oh, that... these are gays. Yeah. No, I think... <laughs> Come on. It's you're a vase. That is not a gay hobby. Ceramics is not gay. Ceram... It's not straight. Yeah, I... <laughs> and isn't that going to really... be obvious if it's like, if it, you know, ceramics... Actually you have to pick would... something that you actually like, but it could be... Oh. I mean, you got to be yourself? Wait, yeah. Yeah. Yoga, I can't lie my way through pickleball. this. Pickleball. I think pickleball is really good. Pickleball is so cool. big in pickleball Austin. Pickleball is huge. Low yeah. impact. Yeah. Literally, like, anything you find interesting where girls also are like playing video games at home isn't going to be a great hobby to meet women not all hobbies are created equal but find some hobbies where girls hang out yeah it's right. a good point if you're at home playing call of duty it's fun but you're not meeting chicks yeah, take my approach academy course like i literally break down how to meet women in the wild so you mm. don't have to rely on that's huge out. i was oh, always just the bar plug. we had a, we yeah, had a lady all, who met- not even with comedy like you know just at a bar i was comfortable we had Same. a lady who met her husband uh playing call of duty Remember? No oh, way. I've heard of it. Yeah. She started flying them up to like yeah. what? from Texas yeah, they to met talking and, San Francisco and or off. something. Yeah. Cool. Now they're married. I, mean, I have clients who like reference that like story as like a myth of like there was once it a has guy. Had and I'm like, once. no, no, that's not happening for you. No, no. Comedy it has made it. We have been spoiled because as comic, I mean, remember how often we used to just like hang out after the show? That was big. I mean, you have a good set. You hang, you pretend you're, oh, like, you're just oh, at my, the door. Oh, I'm looking at my phone oh, or whatever. Oh, this is where the people come out? Yeah. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, hot chick over there. And they know everything about you. So the first 20% is over. They're already in to who yeah. you are. They know you. And they know your hobby. That's a lock. Yeah. How do I date? We, no, we did got, that we one. Good cocktail for drinking alone this Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, Jim Beam and a handgun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Drano? <laughs> Why do you have to drink alone? Get your guy friends. Go out. Have a yes. drink. Yes. Uh, have, have some Cosmos out with your guy friends, and it's a good conversation starter. Or you could have starter. a... Bodega Cat. There you yeah. go. BodegaCatWhiskey.com. Get a Bodega Cat and a Fleshlight. <laughs> Call it a night. Fleshlights are from Austin, Texas. I don't what? know why I know that, but i really? the Fleshlight where I'm from, yes. No Boy, kidding. you're full of surprises. Yeah. <laughs> Girlfriend is I, I, I would say, in all honesty, a good Valentine's Day cocktail. Get, make yourself a Negroni. Who doesn't like a Negroni? There you go. Old fashioned, yeah, Manhattan. Old fashioned, yeah. And you'll be groaning. Wait, this one is tough. My girlfriend isn't great at wiping after she shits. If we do doggy, there are faint like nice streaks. There are faint streaks, you mean. How do I address this? You need her to be a squirter so you can bidet that <laughs> shit, you know, in, in real time. Get a bidet. That's the key. Yeah, there you go. A pack of dude wipes. A bidet yeah. would help. Or do you get... trust this girl to be like the future mother of your children or like a reliable partner? She can't even wipe her ass. That's a good point. I, like, hygiene's important. I think she's out. Well, it's probably the wheelchair makes it hard. <laughs> you, ever, <laughs> you ever have a one night stand with someone and they just go for your butt and you're like, just a tongue in there and you're like, are you out of your fucking mind? You don't uh, know my yeah, routine. No. Like, I am I clean there, but, but, I but you didn't know that. I would advise against it. I had to stop a lady once. It's wild <laughs> you, down there. You, you're a gentleman. No, yeah. no, no. You don't want that. <laughs> my <laughs> asshole looks like your head. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I would never want to subject anybody to that. No, 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 no. no. But, I mean, I've done that a million times. Sure, but yeah. it's, a, it's a lady. What are the best first date ideas? It's a little vague here. It's a broad one. I don't think you want to get crazy with the first date. Just go get drinks. Drinks, right? Keep it dinner. simple. Is dinner no. creepy? It's not creepy, but like, why do you want to have dinner with her either? What if she sucks? Exactly. Like, you want to keep it short, true, sweet. Just go get drinks. She's yeah. good. Yeah. Couple of drinks, Easy. see where it goes. Yeah, because yeah, you if just pull great, the plug. If it's great, then you can go get dinner. Yes. After. And you get honest with a couple of cocktails. Mm-hmm. I pay for everything all the time, but should I expect Valentine's Day gifts? Beyond sex. I mean, what gifts do you want on Valentine's Day? Yeah, yeah, that's dork. that's weird. Also, why would you expect a gift if she's never if you are already paying for everything? Like, mm. I don't think she's getting you anything. Don't yeah. get your hopes up. Oh yeah, he's done. This guy's a goner. I'd are you expecting problem. a Valentine's Day gift? No, I don't want a gift. Are, did you get her anything? I did. Okay. Oh my, I, my girl gets too many gifts. She buys me too many things. I'm like, stop buying. I don't want this shit. What that's, type of She stuff? bought me this. I do like this sweater. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's very nice. That's yeah. thoughtful. I'm a big very nice. She got me like eight other Nick sweaters. I'm like, it's too much shit. <laughs> Can I have one? Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Tell I'm, her to keep going. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I went to the game last weekend. I was thinking We're about it. We're going you. tonight. That's a fun Woo! time over there. 
I tell you, I'm real Go loose Knicks. with the Sixers. Man, the Knicks are really pulling me. They're I like cooking. that squad. They're cooking, baby. They're a good fucking, group of guys over there. <laughs> well, I was at the hurt. game where uh, Randall got hurt. That was one of oh, the worst damn. days of my life. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. That was, how do I get over my commitment issue? Now, that's a good question, because every guy has them. I got nothing. Yeah, you're barking, up, barking up the wrong tree. Yeah. yeah. I, think every, I don't feel like every guy has them. I feel like the guys I work with are the opposite. They, like want commitment and oh the really other woman oh, yeah, the guys from, you work with yeah, yeah like they're more not the guys that are out there getting laid yeah. though <laughs> yeah, they don't, they're not just exactly. they're, they're running the other way yeah, your guy yeah. bird shit's fucking strangling them as soon as you get them laid they're like yeah i'm not really ready for anything <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i didn't work with a therapist a therapist yeah serious answer yeah that's oh yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that makes okay. sense no, yeah, why none of our thoughts. Issues. That's how nuts we are. I don't know. Drink <laughs> through it. Keep it moving, dude. <laughs> it's all patterns, right? It's like you you have issues with this because of some other shit. You mm-hmm. address it. Yeah, you you probably get better. Why is it okay for a woman to have a guy friend, but if I have a girlfriend, it's a fucking problem? <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe your it's point. your tone. Exclamation. Yeah, this guy's got a two. Yeah, yeah, right? You got a fucking problem, babe? I can't be friends with a stripper. What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I, that sounds like a him problem or his girlfriend yeah. problem. Yeah. But, I mean, like, I, that's, that's not a rule. I got female friends. Yeah, I have yeah. guy friends. Outside of my... comedy, though? Because we're like peer, you know what I mean? That's many, like, we many, work together. How many guy friends do you have outside it's of It's very true. I got like yeah. two from when I was like f- seven years old. Uh, uh, but I mean, like, if my wife met a new guy f- that like she didn't, that would be weird. A new single straight guy. A new single Mendoza. straight guy who was like, we're going to grab drinks. I'd be like, you're not fucking going to grab drinks. Right. How do you feel about that? What do you think? No, nah, I'm not saying I'm not. I'm saying we have to have a conversation that. Yeah. This seems weird. It seems like you're going that, on a date. Well, that just, the description of that, yeah, it's like she's going on a date. Yeah. But like, there's situations where, like, when my he's my boyfriend at the time now, my husband and I moved to Austin. We're both like meeting people. Like, I have made guy friends through other friends I already have, and like that he might not know yet, or like through playing pickleball. I play pickleball. It's like, oh, I met this guy. It's not. That's not weird. But we're not going out to d- drinks one on one. Yeah, either. like sure. that would a be group weird. setting. If like, oh, Tony yeah. and Trevor are coming over. Sure. And I, I know this is an old trope or whatever the word is, but those guys would make a move if yes. they thought they had a shot. Yes. There's that's no. Every there's, guy I don't like fucking trust. Listen, you you might. Every dude would take the shot <laughs> yeah. if you, if the commanding officer came down and was like, take the shot. He's fucking taking it. Yeah. Every dude every is time. a piece of shit except us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. You think there's ever been a guy who hired a dating help and then a woman who hired a dating help and they met? Has that ever happened? Yeah, probably, but not. I've So I actually have been talking to this other woman who's a dating coach for women, and I'm like, we just need to hook up our clients. Oh, yeah. Bingo. There Save you time. Go. Get them together. Have a mixer, and they're all just standing on the other side of the fucking apartment. <laughs> you guys are ca- Even, cash like a, in a Kind corner. of like easier way to do that would be the guys who follow me on like Instagram should just go find dating coaches for women and then the women who follow her start oh, there don't those give women it away. Oh, that's already that's, that's, really? that's, that's high I'm level I'm explaining math. the like backdoor entrance to do that so love hearing about go the follow a, go follow <laughs> like, like, like if you are a guy who follows me and you like want dating advice you want a girlfriend uh-huh. go find a dating coach for women and see the girls who are already following her those women want relationships oh. so start there but isn't a DM creepy uh DMs are tricky. You it can work. You have to have a good profile. You have to treat it like your dating app profile. So you gotta have some good pictures. You gotta have like some in- an interesting out. bio. <laughs> and then it's way better if you have some mutual friends or something to connect on. But it, it's been known to happen that okay. you can slide into the DMs and it works. Hmm. Got it. All right. All right. Is that it? I'm okay. deleting all my wife's pictures off my Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So that's what you're saying. Start right? there. So you're saying I can't let her cock block me? Uh, dating a girl for six months. This is our first Valentine's. Any gift advice? God, An the gifts. An yeah, experience. That you can do together. Yeah. Something you can enjoy together. There you go. Well, dinner, flowers, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, but I think I'd rather, if it, like, for a gift, I would rather have an experience. Flowers are nice, but... Like, being specific, what's a good experience? Like a concert. Okay. Going to a concert fun. that you both enjoy. A trip. Mm. Yeah, but then you gotta hang out with her. That's true. Uh, that, that is part seventy-two of the game. hours alone, yeah. no cell service. Baby, Yikes. One Direction's back on tour. Uh, we have been dating for three months, but the sex is already boring. Can I bring in sex toys? I don't see why not. Yeah, why I think not? you could have brought in the sex toys three months ago. Agreed. Yeah, that's not like taboo. No. Is this a guy? Probably. If, oh. What? I don't know. I feel like that's a lady. That question. feels like a lady to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Agreed. Uh, 
Like, like way, she's that gonna do it. What? That guy's on borrowed time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. How will I know when it's time to ask her to marry me? How did you know, Mark? Uh oh. Well, let's see. She she looked at my phone. No. Um, <laughs> Either this or I leave. Yeah, yeah exactly. I show everyone uh, your your Drake video. No. Uh, I think for me, because you know you go out with a million girls, the one you can be your most yourself with. And sure. I hate myself. I'm a piece of garbage, whatever. <clears throat> and if she likes that shitty version of you and you, you don't even have to think about being around her, you know, some people are like, all right, this person's here. I got to be on. I got to be this. I got to be that. I got to be this version of me that they think I am. Mm -hmm. yeah. When you can just be you, that's the one. That's pretty a, good. I like that. Good. Easy yeah. life. Amen. And she's fun and we get along. We're very compatible. We make each other laugh quite a bit. We had sex today. There you go. There you Sorry go. about the stench. She doesn't wipe her ass very well. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> she's a streaker. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good stuff. Yeah. I think that's right because you know that feeling too when you, and look, I'm not married, but that feeling when you leave a social hang and you're like, yes. <sighs> yeah. When you go yeah. home and you're with, with, around someone who just puts you at ease. That's that Also, is... you know what's really good? That same, but when you experience that with them, like you walk out of a party or a wedding with that other, with her and you're like, Oh, Great that point. fucking yeah. sucked. Great point. That, you know, that guy was the worst. Like, when you share that, like, kind of like, you know. That, that orgy that with together. Diptych was fucking terrible. <laughs> <Yeah. too. laughs> I'm sure there's some trauma in this, but I, I can't, like, when we're both sleeping together, like, in the, in the bed, uh -huh. I can't imagine her not being in the bed there. Does that make Whoa. sense? You know what I mean? Like, that's when it's, like, perfectly cozy. And, that's like, heavy. You know Aww, what I mean? That's cute. I mean, you're in heavy. Bed, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's usually up three feet, but sure. I'm just a screaming at her. Mark and I are both trying to fire off a fat uh, joke. Periods are insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you say there, Blaine? How when you know it's time? I like both of your descriptions. I think that's great. I think being your authentic self, because if, and I tell guys that even in the early stages of dating, like, don't date this person if you feel like you have to be somebody that you're not. Yeah. Even, and, don't pretend to be somebody you aren't when you're approaching or when you're getting to know her because if she's likes you for who you're acting like then you have to either keep that up mm -hmm. or like risk her not liking who you actually are you're better off just going in with who you authentically are if she doesn't like that then great one less person to worry about you know figuring sure. it out with move well, on what about that bullshit where they say you should be with somebody who challenges you like, I don't know if me and my girlfriend actually challenge each other. We're just very comfortable with well, each other. Well, she should call you out on shit that maybe... Yeah. Oh, she does that. All yeah. right, well, that's challenging. Go. Yeah. Valentine's Day is a one time of the year when your grooming really needs to be on point. Manscaped has everything you need in their Performance Package 5.0. It comes with a bunch of awesome products, and you're going to love them all. For starters, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is going to be your new best friend. The electric trimmer has skin-safe technology to protect from nicks and cuts, and it comes with their brightest LED spotlight yet, so you can shave anywhere. I've used this. Look, the carpet matches the drapes. i got to keep it in check. I've got to keep the pubes at a respectable length if I want a lady to go down there, so you know what I'm doing. I'm keeping it respectable. you got to trim. Get 20% off free shipping with the code DRUNK at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com. Use code DRUNK because your grooming upgrade awaits. Ready to charm your Valentine's dates. I like having my ass eaten. But I, <laughs> oh, is there a question? All right. I like having my ass eaten, but I get worried it's a little gay. What should I do? Jeez. Well, if you want pair? your ass eaten by guys? Like... I know, right? Or yeah. get pegged, then you'll know. Yeah, well, it's gay. Yeah, it do whatever I mean, the fuck you... I mean, yeah. do what makes you come, dude. Yeah, 2024, yeah. baby. Let her yeah, ride. Yeah, just do it with a woman. <laughs> then you're not gay. Why don't you just enjoy your fucking life? And Weird. stop worrying. I mean, yeah, if you, your girl's eating your ass. This guy's gay. I also, I, I, this guy like, probably was like nervous sending this. I'm like, what are you, gay? Shut up. Just get your ass eaten. <laughs> he was like, all right, I'm going to come out of my shell. I'm going to ask my favorite comedians their advice on hit, this thing that like I'm petrified about. He hit send. He's like, I'm fucking gay, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah. My friends are getting divorced. Ooh. I've always been attracted ah, to his wife. Oh, now. How we're long until I can fuck her? I love this guy. Doesn't know. He, he just knows he can fuck her. He's like, how long till I can fuck her? Yeah, like, really confident that she wants to fuck him. Yeah. yeah, right. How? How? Yeah, and how? Close I think it's are you the friends. The friend? It's like the, the answer friend is matter. never if you want to be friends yeah. with the guy. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That, do, you, yeah. do you have any rules on that when you take on a client? What if the client says, "Hey, my boss, I'm I'm in love with my boss's wife." 
or that something sounds... like that. I mean, can you afford to lose your job? I guess that's true. Help what me construct a plan to kill him. <laughs> Coworker. Is or this about like us? That. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? A stupid. He said question. she was a friend. <laughs> <laughs> say you have a say you have a mildly successful podcast. Mark gets and divorced. you got the hots for your coworker. I was wondering why you were playing pickleball. Mark gets, <laughs> but Mark, Mark gets divorced. I'm never trying to fuck his wife, no, uh, his ex-wife. So you just that's just shit you don't do. Right. Of course. Uh, if you're close friends, now if you're not, if it's at, like an associate or a friend of a friend. And you you don't mind burning that bridge? Yeah, I mean, there you go. Is, you know, you're just a guy at that point. It yeah. doesn't seem worth it though. Like if this is even a friend of a friend, you're gonna be in social settings with them just to fuck her. Like that seems like <laughs> a lot of baggage to take on. Like, yeah, find yeah, but it seems so wrong. It must be. With. It must be. Oh, oh way. Way. It's yeah. hot. it's hotter. It's hotter. It is hotter because you shouldn't be doing it. That's every porn is shit you shouldn't be doing. Fucking your your friend's mom. Sure. You know the teacher, the the boss, whatever. It's all shit. You, it's training your brain. To you know, for forbidden fruit, I think. Mm. Sure. Real estate agent. Yeah. Babysitter. So wait, what do you do about the coworker stuff? Because a lot of people met at work back yeah. in you know the eighties and nineties, and now that's taboo. No, that I think taboo you could. Now? No, you can still meet at work. A lot of people yeah. have like a no fraternizing clause. No kidding. Yeah, that's or like you have to now. disclose your day. It's like there's more red tape. I don't know how. Yeah, hmm. they're scared of getting but sued. But I don't think it's usually you can't. It's it, like I know a lot of the big corporations. It's. You get to ask once. You can, like, ask somebody out, but if they say no, like, never that's bring it, it up all again, right, which is really should apply to all situations. What about the hierarchy shit? Because some women like a guy who's in a position of power. I know I do. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what I would tell a client is, like, every situation is different. You might need, you need to navigate that in a way, ideally, where you don't lose your job. Right. If you're the boss, that's hard, though, right? Say there's, yeah. like, a hot intern. But like right. Love Actually, <laughs> Love Actually is a movie we all love. But that was uh, Hugh Grant fucking the intern lady, or trying to. Listen, and it was still 90s, happening. Though. We're all lying to each other. Do we all love that sure movie? Happening. I think that movie. Oh, you stinks. don't. Like, so the country loves it. I don't know. It's a popular film. You're talking about four weddings and a funeral. I'll get that was a good you. movie. Love Actually. Get out of here with yeah, that, that crap. All right. Well, Obama <laughs> is. <laughs> Obama. Man, the king of segways over here. Michelle Obama was higher up than him, and she hit on him, and now they're married. Obviously. Huh. And now sure. they're a gay couple. No. <laughs> Big Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who knows? Just saying. This, this, you're right. Every every case it's is different. Po- political, uh, politician stories about how they met their significant other, they're so innocent. He's like, and then Michelle and I got ice cream. I'm like, did you? Yeah. yeah right. No. You didn't have drinks and fuck just yeah. once? Yeah. A black dude in the 80s? Come on. You're, yeah. right. you're <laughs> Russian Newports and Henny. Let's yeah. go. You're Kenyan. Come on. <laughs> you didn't go out for ice cream in Chicago? What are you talking about? Henny. Uh, there's no <laughs> goddamn ice cream stores He's got late night at a barbecue written all over it. What are you talking about? Let's go. He was you guys were wine dancing. <laughs> How do I convince my wife to try anal? I don't know, but when you figure it out, come, <laughs> <laughs> come by the Foley house, will you, dog? CC your boy. Straighten a friend up. <laughs> What do you think about the anal there, <laughs> white pants? Um, <laughs> Soon to be brown pants. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've heard Kevin. if you let her peg you first, she almost always lets you do anal. So try that. That's a, that's a pretty big oh, price to pay. That's a devil's bargain. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just asked I her. I talked to her. Why? You like, gotta meet at the crossroads at midnight for that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> ask her for Valentine's Day as your gift. That would suck if you got pegged <laughs> and then she goes and she said no. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You got to get that in writing. Maybe he wants the anal. <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't think she's going to. I think it's more of a problem for her body. Yeah, yeah she probably's oh. not. She's not down with it. How can I convince my wife to try anal? Maybe he's talking about on him, I'm saying. I mean, yes, yeah, so a lot of guys do that. But, I mean, I, I, it sounds more like. I don't think a lot of guys, but guys. <laughs> guys yeah. do that. How can I convince my wife to try anal? I think uh, you just got to say, hey, I really want to do it. I'll lube up your butt. I don't know. Yeah, go I'll take it slow. If, you, if it's not yeah. working, we'll stop. Yeah, I think yeah. you get some we'll phalanges work. in there first. You get yeah. the, a finger or two, and you got to work your way up. You can't just, you know, get yeah. right to that. Warm it up with the pinky first. Sure. And then Me. talk. You like There's that? a lot of eye contact more? on that. Yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, all right. All right. Uh, it's my goddamn oh, anniversary. That's a neat touch. <laughs> me, me personally, I'm, I'm, not, not, a, get her. I'm not a big anal guy. She's all over me. <laughs> yeah, Mark and I have talked about this. We're not big into the anal. I think, you know. It's just, you, James Smith, what you used to have a great Patreon? joke about this. James Smith, our buddy in Australia who, who listens to this sometimes, he used to have a bit about how it's like, you got a good road right there. Sure. Why well, are you yeah. taking the bad road? Yeah. You know, road. It's, it's not for me. It's not yeah, my, yeah, road. it's not my, not my cup of tea. 
Well, we tried it, me and the lady, but it was so brutal and uncomfortable and weird, and it's a pinhole back there. <laughs> sure. And that we just we were like, all right, fuck it. It's not going to work. It's my thumb and it's my ass. <laughs> Great Gary Shanley one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, for the last time, it's my thumb and my ass. Husband and I are getting divorced, but plan to still... Live, live, live together. <laughs> Sorry. I've been drinking and you want to be an engineer. <laughs> Should we have sex or will that complicate things? No. Why are you getting divorced? You're living together and having sex. Yeah, you're like, married. It sounds no. like you're doing pretty well as a married couple. Maybe they're brutal to be around. Yeah, maybe they just like... Maybe you know. they're staying together for financial reasons. That's, or what, the I, kids. that's what I would assume. Yeah. Mm. Seems like a bad idea. But hot. Maybe maybe have sex with other people is what they meant. I don't I, know. I had a yeah. I had a family member who they got divorced and they kept the house and they then split an apartment somewhere else and the kids would stay in the house. Oh, I know a lot. And of And the parents do that. would. So the kids' lives never changed. The parents Whoa, would. Oh, that's like Monday, good. Tuesday, Wednesday. The dad would leave, and then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the mom would leave, and they just. Whoa. So they were I have like a friend their doing home that right stayed now. the same. Just that seems ideal. That seems yeah, that's pretty. Just, that's man, like that's hacking really the system. Good. You yeah. get your own apartment. Yeah. So you never hate each other. Yeah. And the kids. Yeah. That's the kids great. are like, yeah, you know, we're still in our is, house. Is this a recycle one? My my girlfriend won't eat my ass, but I really enjoy it. Is this doomed to fail? This guy won't give up. No. <laughs> just keep together. writing in. That's yeah. the same. Guy. Gary. The next one. The next one. The, ne the next one just says, "Am I gay?" <laughs> well, yes. Shoot me straight, dudes. <laughs> What's the worst best relationship advice you ever got? So we have both. We, yeah, I mean, an expert I'll just here. give my worst and best. I feel like the worst advice I touched on this earlier that people get is opposites attract. Like I have people. I'm like, no, no, no. It's not actually it. I think birds of a feather flock together is much more true. That's like, true. Look for somebody who you have things in common with. Um, so I feel like that's the worst advice that gets given a lot. Mm -hmm. And then I think the best advice that I like to give guys is everybody wants to date up. Like whether you're a man or a woman, mm. you want to date someone who you perceive to be cool and you're excited to introduce your friends to it's like aspirational yeah sure. somebody's so, exciting and some yeah some so if aspect. a girl goes to you and the guy's like oh like i just need closure i need to know why it's like it's because she thought you are you weren't good enough for her like that's the hard Ooh, reality damn. so level up use damn. that as fuel to level up so you the next time you see her it's like she's like oh man like I missed out, you know, and you can. Guy's got a leather blood. jacket now. You can yeah. date higher quality women. <laughs> like at the end of breakup, when he loses a couple of pounds and he's carrying the groceries. Yeah. Oh, I love that movie. Oh yeah, Vince Vaughn. Ooh. Yeah, but you're right. Opposites don't attract. We got trash and drunks. You know, <laughs> yeah. we're also drunk. drunks, by the way. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. And we're probably trash. <laughs> <laughs> you both done the show. You're yeah, both very we're trash. trash. <laughs> oh, we got uh, we got different shaped uh, champagne glasses too. So. Oh, yeah, As Matt pointed out, we're trash. There you go. And no, no more questions. No, you want to do bits or peeves? Peeves, Let's yeah. Do you have peeves. Any peeves is good. Anyone have pet peeves? Any, any of you guys have pet peeves? Uh, I wrote one down. Hold on. I have. Well, it was a little bit more about. And it's it's a bit of a. It's like a. It's a bit of a hacky bit. But I was like, I was watching the Grammys with my with my lady. Oh and yeah. A li and like I know it's the thing you have to be shocked and you have but like. Uh, Billie Eilish was like, I, I cannot believe this. And I'm like, she already won like nine Grammys in her lifetime. She sold a hundred million records. And it's like, how do you, we're supposed to believe oh, that, that you're you were shocked. nominated for four tonight. It didn't cross your mind at one point that right. maybe you had already performed on stage that night at the Grammys. Good Is point. it crazy that like, and it was just this like big aloof, like, I, I, I don't even know. I'm like, you are a professional performer yes. who performs in front of 100,000 people at a time. You are not at a loss for words in front of a microphone right. after winning a Grammy. So that sounds humble. crazy if to Billie me. Billie Eilish hit you up trying to get to him. She's got no shot. Yeah. All right. Just give her right, the She's got to set a game. Break it no, to her kidding. softly. She <laughs> you stopped yourself mid-joke mid there. She is uh, she well does a well She does a like, big... There's a woman and a kid in the room. <laughs> yeah. Talk about a rough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Both are turning me on. But yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah she's uh, got an ample bosom there on old Billy. Mm -hmm. but, she's very talented. I, I yeah. genuinely love her. So, but it was just this, I like, too. I, I, I don't even, what, what do I even say? And you're like, come on. I know. Come on. You got to do that, though. No. The, the other end of it is pretty annoying, too, though, when people are like, you know, you. I hope this gives kids hope. No. And you're like, shut up. Oh, get out of here. No, but she kind of is supposed to say that. What's she going to say? Like, I saw this one coming. Thanks, no, guys. No, no, no. I think that there's a thing of like, wow, this is so awesome. I'm so honored. Like, it was like this. I can't even... 
I can't even pull words together. You know what I mean? It was this like big aloof what? And I was just like, this is didn't Pesci sure. do something like that? I think when he won, pull it up his acceptance. It was Joe Pesci. He just walks up. He says, uh, "It's my privilege," and then walks. Away. Yeah, it was like very. Yeah. That's that's kind of a cool way to do that's it. A, oh. I mean, it's a very Joe Pesci way. You know, yeah. it's like you know. If we're talking peeves and Grammys, Trevor Noah, <laughs> he just complimented everybody. It was like the weirdest. We're in you this had weird... to after the the koi. Yeah. yeah that oh, was, uh... fuck that. Have some balls. Go in there. I'm not saying you got to roast everybody, but like. All right, let's watch the Pesci. He's so little. I know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's my privilege. Thank you. Yeah. Whoa. White privilege. Right, right back to the Deuce Deuce Club, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I guess For so. a couple of snifters. Get your shine bucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Just like, come on, Trevor. Howard Stern did a whole thing on it about how he just like went up and he's like, you are great. I admire you. It was no, very it was so cool you're here. And you're like, what, what, what do we need a host for? It did sound like he was doing well in the room, though. It, oh, it's, well, it sounded like he was doing... He was, well, he's getting applause because they go, sure. hey, do a Leapa. And everybody goes... Sure, and he goes, you're so cool. All right. And everybody goes, yeah, she's cool. And then he moved on to the next person. I, I just felt <laughs> no. like anybody could do that. The point of a comedian is to be comedic. Sure. Yeah. Maybe I'm a cunt. Yeah, I mean, I, I prefer the style of like the Gervais or the way Tina Fey and Amy Poehler Tina did Fey. it. They were, great. they were great. great. Yeah. But Jokes. Gervais got away with it because he was in Hollywood. I mean, he had won like a billion grand. That's or true. A billion true. Emmys. He was he was their peer. He could shit on Well, you don't have to come out that hard, but there, there's a way to do it. With, with still, I think you can take shots, yeah. You, you could make, I don't know. Or I, even a joke about Dua Lipa. It doesn't have to be at her expense, but it could be a, a, a joke. Sure. Just love a joke I'm as a comedian. Ass. Call me nuts. What'd you say? I'm kissing ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. Them, plug the website and beat it. All right. You guys ever do this one? How about the, uh, this is my pee for the week. Anybody out there who's ever said truth to power? I don't even get that. I don't I gotta know be what it means either. I, I don't get it. What does that mean? But anybody who says it, I speaking immediately don't like. Speaking truth to power that? is what it means. But what what is, does to power What mean? does that mean? Like you're speaking truth to power. Like uh, people you're just repeating to it. power. People in positions of power. It's like when people are saying like comedy should be like, you know, tackling people in, in higher up positions. Like it's almost like punching up rather than punching down. You're uh, telling the king he has no clothes. You're telling yeah. the truth to someone powerful. Uh, I would I would have never got, I thought it was I like activist. I would have never got too. there. What is? Again? I guess so. so. You're, the, you're, you're speaking truth to power. The king has no clothes. You're the kid saying he has no clothes. Oh. So you're the person who's speaking someone powerful. As opposed to your oh. kid who's saying, that's Drake's cock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're speaking truth to a powerful person. Boom. God, I would have uh, never yeah, got there. See, nobody in the room knew it. I knew it. I All right, two, she didn't know it either. Two people knew, but... Anybody who says that is uh, pretentious. I don't disagree. Well, like, right. I, don't, I don't like to roll in those circles of people speaking. Yeah, truth to yeah. Agreed. Who the hell is this? Oh, by the way, you, oh, hear, you hear uh, Billy Joel's new song? Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, no. no good kidding. for him. You didn't like it? I mean, I don't know. It's like... We were joking I just went and saw him at the garden. Was it was like, amazing. Hey, I play a new one. I, me too. I'd never but it's seen like, Billy, him. play Piano Man yeah, and call yeah, it a yeah. fucking day. Oh, oh, really? oh, come on. He hasn't written a new song in 20 years. 30. Like, 30. 30 years. 30. Wow. wow. I mean, sure. I, I Yes. I, I love Billy. I love Billy Joel. One of the greatest lives. Dude, to him at the garden is... It's insane. I went. I love it. It's one of the best... Most powerful truth to power performance I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Take was, that piano man. What was the name of the song? What was it? What was it about? Was it about drinking? <laughs> it was about DUI. Jersey I, State. I forgot the name. Having a breathalyzer good, in your car. Uh, I got to peeve. I've Hit had me. some stomach problems, like gastro, <laughs> like like pain from stomach acid stuff. Jewish. To, oh, yeah, basically, <laughs> sure. I'm just Jewish. <laughs> some someone in the Midwest is listening to this right now, like you fucking <laughs> pussy. Fuck He's swinging but pepto. I went to uh, I went to I had to go to the urgent care, or whatever. I uh, the people the front desk are so fucking rude That's crazy. Oh, the worst. and i'm like no one treats you this way if you go into chipotle <laughs> yeah right you're gonna be this rude at a hospital mm -hmm. i know that's a new york thing i live in texas and they're nice they're that's so true. nice they're like sweetie here's the clipboard you go sit down like yeah. i hope you feel better well, they just they're don't so do nice. anything i'm like i need a referral because the referral you gave me the book for like months i found another it's like you do all the work you find another this just it's just my peeve is just healthcare in america yeah. 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 You don't gotta, yeah. Yeah. yeah who's your carrier you don't got a pcp I got I got insurance, but it's, you still got to find someone that carries it, and you still need a referral for the. It, it's still a thing, you know. They don't cover it. Huh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good talk. I go to the PCP. I say, hey, are you in a healthcare system? Or do you have like a, like a private doctor? No, I don't have a private doctor. I need to get, I need you like. You got to be in like Mount Sinai or Beth Israel or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. What are you doing? Talk to the diabetic. He, go, dude, he, goes, yeah. he goes to the doctor. No, I'm in Mount weekly. Sinai, but you still need a referral to go outside Mount Sinai. What are you going to go out Mount Sinai for? Because they don't have availability there. for months. Uh, see, the gastro guy. Yeah. I'll say, yeah, but my guy. <laughs> uh, not a gastro pub. I just want to make sure everybody knows that. But every time I call in, they're like, they don't have me in the system for some reason. So I call in and I'm like, hey, no. uh, I, yeah. you have to do the automated thing. And I'm like, Sam or I give my date every time. Oh, Caitlin Morris. And I'm like, do I have to transition to get a fucking <laughs> appointment here? I'm going to have to become Caitlin What's Morris. What's up, boys? <laughs> I know. It's yeah, so The true. customer service aspect of it, it specifically in New York, Brutal. is crazy. Everything. Brutal. Every, dude, nobody cares less than like a Key Foods oh. cashier about your life, your day. And they just, they don't even make eye contact. No. Just throw that I'm groceries. fine with. I'm talking about the hospital. I know what I'm just saying. In <laughs> the general, Key Foods, it's, it's from the ground up. Know. This is going to sound a little hoity toity, but those Uber blacks in the city are horrible. A regular Ubers, it's like you're taking your life in your hands. I got an Uber black last night. The guy had a spare tire in the back seat. <laughs> is it, that's God. the elevated one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Supposed there are, to be. Everything's oh, well. falling, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Show up at infinity. Get out of here with that. <laughs> Bullshit. How about you Talk guys? Talk about new money. <laughs> so there were two spare they tires in the back seat. I, I cancel it. Do you guys have peeves? Uh, uh, this week, the sitch has been getting on my nerves. I've been hearing the, the phrase, the sitch. What's oh, the sitch? Oh yeah. What's your sitch? What's your yeah, vibe? We, we met. We, yeah, we had to meet with some, you know, some industry person, and he was really. It was like one of those things you want to shake someone's hand. I want to be like, let's just save an hour and yeah, each go our way or whatever. But he was hitting you with this. What's the vibes on this? What's the sitch? And Foley's yeah. looking at me like, what the oh, fuck's he talking about? Why the blow? What's the deal? <laughs> ages, they just shorten words. They make them cooler. <laughs> Cut the yeah. check. Let's go. Is there we'll a person sketch. who at a bar? They're looking around for women. What's the talent look like? <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. I had one guy. I had one guy come. He was a friend of a friend, like finance guy, <laughs> and we were like at a bar, and he's like, "Look, the three of us, three good-looking guy, we could probably clean up in here." Back in the day, I'm like, "What are you talking about? Dude? We're 40. Shut up." Get the sad reminiscing here. guy. Yeah, we were, we were at a bar to the Yankees game. I'm like, "What are we? T- shut up." Yeah, the sitch. Yeah, sitch is bad. Sitch I, is I don't bad. even like the riz. You just took uh, a part of the word. It's, what it's is not that? Clever. Yeah, what does that mean? Wait, what is riz short for? Charisma. Oh, really? Oh. You got the riz. What's Zaza? Is that weed? Yeah. What? Okay. I've never heard of Zaza got any? <laughs> I don't know Zaza. And was Zaza Pachulia. Remember that guy? No. Is that a rapper? Basketball player. Ah. Oh. Uh. How about you? Have any, have any uh, pet peeves? Yeah, I was at the airport yesterday. I hate when people crowd around the baggage claim. Take uh. three giant steps backwards. When you see your luggage, step forwards huh. and take it off. Did you know that? Are you a crowder? No, we don't. You seem crowd. like you didn't know that. No, we step back. Yeah, okay. we step back. Yeah. Keep yeah. it back and then walk forward. I find it so irritating. I also do everything in my power not to be the one getting the bag. Yeah, he's not. I mean, yeah. we're, we're we're traveling with like seventy five pound bags. He's not. Yeah. He's not chasing after him on the carousel. He's That's, outside smoking a cig. It's just human nature. It's just like cattle. Like even yeah. when they're calling the the gates, like all right, yeah. group, boarding group one, boarding group two. Everybody's like packed in. You're like mm-hmm. you're gonna get on the plane. Relax. But we just have to. Scoot in, and there's and that tension. Off too. Yeah, same shit. That I can't really get off. <laughs> All right, uh, you got any more? I got one more. One more. What this is get? my own peeve. A peeve I hate about me. I will fuck something up, blame other people, and then realize I fucked it up. Mm. So I'll I'll be like, oh, I got a, I got a sharpie here. I'm gonna put this on the shelf for later when I need it. Mm-hmm. And then two years later, when I need that sharpie, I'm like. Everything in this place is fucking throwing around. The wife puts shit everywhere, and then I find it on the shelf, and I'm like, oh, it was me. Yeah. So I blame other people when I did it myself. I do that a lot, too. Yeah? Yeah. You try I to always think something was stolen, too. Yes! <laughs> like, oh, somebody definitely stole it. And I'm like, oh, shit, it's over somewhere else. I do right. that, too. No one's been over. I'm like, someone stole. Yeah. Yeah. Has someone, has the super been in here? <laughs> yeah. You ever 100%. do this? You ever go, where the fuck? And before you finish the sentence, you find the thing. Sure. Yeah. Oh, sure. That, okay. You feel like a real dumb I've dumb. been looking for my phone on the phone. I'll be like, yeah. well, I'll be on a call. I'm yeah. like walking around and I'm like flipping pillows and shit. I'm like, what the? Okay, never mind. Yeah. I bumped into someone on the street once where we were both looking at our phones and we bumped and we were both mad at the other. Sure. It was both of our faults. <laughs> you sure? We were both like, you fuck it. My phone was more important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> then we kiss. And... The wife will do the, uh, where's the Franzia? And I'm like, just look for two seconds before you ask. I'm bad it's with right that. It's right in front too. of you. Oh, yeah. My yeah, husband's I'm real bad, bad with that. that. Yeah. Like, where is it? I'm like, 
I guarantee it's there. You're not looking. Your eyes aren't open. I told my mom. I was like, I was complaining to my mom about that. She's like, oh, I didn't want to tell you before you got married. I thought you might not get married. But like, yes, this is part of having a husband. They can't find anything. Yeah. Right. yeah I, I, I lean on that. No one told me. Yeah. yeah. I blame the lady for, for, for yeah, yeah. Would you move this. You definitely moved it. No, I didn't move it. Oh, it's right there. It's at my back. A big thing. I, and I've been getting. But I won't admit it. My wife always does. But I've been, I've been like calling it out more. And like to the point where it's like now she's like, you got it. You know, but you'll like. I'll be in, I'm like, I'm hopping in the shower. Shower's on. I, I'm like peeing. I like flush the toilet, there's, you know. And then she's like, our apartment, there's like door, like, you know, like hallways and turns. So she'll be like three doors away in the kitchen be like, hum, 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 hum. and I'm like, what? Oh, and she's Dave. like, hum, 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 hum. I'm like, room. why did you, we were just in the same room together. You right. wait until the shower's on. I got the hair dryer right. going. And you're going, hum, 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 hum. and I'm, what? Oh, I'm thinking like, you know, she did something. So I'm like, hop out. And she's like. I was looking for the salt shaker, and I'm like, "Fucking bitch, yeah. I lose it." <laughs> <laughs> you stupid bitch, I never loved you. you. You ever have this one? They call you, and they have bad service on Facetime, <laughs> and, sure. and you're like, "Ah!" Uh, and then they're like getting mad. I'm like, "It's your shitty service. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm at home, dude." I had that and when my hang up. You're in trouble. Oh, Why'd yeah. you hang up on me? When my <laughs> busted up. When my lady was in Germany, we were traveling back and forth to see each other a bunch. And so, like, our, literally, our, like, emotional connection or, like, connection in our relationship was based on Wi-Fi a lot oh, of the time. Oh, man. Because you'd be like, something would happen and we would call and it's like, ah, 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 I can't hear you. And then it's like, all right, she's going to bed because the time difference. And I'm like, oh, we just have to wait until tomorrow or whatever to figure it out. But, like, it really caused a lot of tension. Are you kind of ever glad, like, oh, the Wi-Fi sucks? We don't have to talk. There was moments oh, for yeah. sure. I've oh, been yeah. that way on a call. All the time with service. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I also same. don't like talking on the phone, ever. I never want to talk on the phone. I never want to face. I mean, FaceTime. I've just hung up on people before. Like, oh, shit, sorry. I have. Yeah. My boys will FaceTime me. And I'm like, what? Are you, I don't want to stare into another man's <laughs> eyes for 15 minutes. Like, get out of here. Yeah. My girl has a bad habit of trying to show me pictures while I'm driving. Like, oh, my God, look at this. Oh, that's or hilarious. Like, we can go here. And so you're about to kill us. I do that. I I'm, I can't drive, so, I <laughs> so I'm the front seat guy. Like, dude, check this out. <laughs> Showing the Uber guy. Yo, check out Drake, dude. <laughs> <laughs> One time we were I, we were in a text fight, like a fight, but through text. So it was just like, oh, they're the worst. But I was driving in a snowstorm. I was coming back from Soul Joel's, and yeah. it was snowing like crazy. It's in mid middle PA, and I'm driving back. It's like two and a half hour drive, and I'm like. And I wanted to crash and die just to win. Because the only <laughs> way I'd win this fault. argument, I respect. it'd be her fault. Like, you bitch, you killed him. You I made him talk. I respect that. Yeah, anything anything <laughs> with that. Like, I, I, you guys look at it the same way. Like, we're out there. We're getting our dick kicked in. We're fucking, you're driving in the snow. Yeah. Soul Joe's middle of Pennsylvania. You're coming back out. And you're getting your balls broke about something. You're like, I'm out here fucking killing myself. I know. Your car crashes. The cop finds it. He's like, it wasn't his fault. <laughs> yes, exactly. Dame was behind this one. <laughs> have you ever done the long distance? I have not. Well, not in a serious relationship. <laughs> but like situationships that are long distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The sis. Sis. What's the hubby do? Has he got a good gig? Can you talk about that? Um. Is he rich? He's rich. I wish. He's not. Really? <laughs> I got him. Beat. I mean, he's not broke, but. Oh, he's private. Oh, uh, smart. Yeah. Sally Pull up Drake yeah. seen us again. Uh, <laughs> his kids watching it. <laughs> That's what he's got What's his there. Instagram? <laughs> yeah, what all-time creepo move by Sally. Uh, I want to look at him, he says. <laughs> you bringing up Drake's dick with your kid there is one of the all-time blunders. <laughs> his kid father. was like, eyes oh, like, what the uh, fuck is that? Minute, CPS he really did is look going. All right. I like that he's got headphones on him, but he's still... He's his eyes still work. Yeah. Why does that black man have a slinky? <laughs> uh, all right. Here's yep. a question. Yeah. As a for a single cat out there, I always had trouble with. Let's say you sleep with a lady, you have a one night stand, you hook up, whatever it is, yeah. and you never want to see her again. <laughs> what do you do there so you, she doesn't try to ruin your life and get angry? Mm. Mm. I think there's a tactical Man, like way one. to say goodbye in the morning that kind of you're not, like don't say like okay like I'll call you like I'll uh -huh. take you out and then not that's way worse right like, this was really fun like it was so nice meeting you bye that's it yeah a little bit but they're gonna to text you and then she might text you and then I think you just have to be honest and you say like 
That's a big I had a lot of fun. I'm not in a place now. where I want to date right now. I'm not dating. Make something but up. But you're being positive there, right? Yeah. I mean, you're saying, wow, this was great. Yeah, like give her a little affirmation and be like, you know, I'm not in a place to pursue anything. I also think sometimes... I wish de- you the best of luck. Don't de- ghost. Depending on where you met and the, you know... If you meet them at two fifteen at off the wagon there's or whatever, a gentleman's it's agreement. Like, yeah, there's a gentleman's yeah, agreement that we all. So. This is a handshake deal we got here, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking doing this, and what, I'm out. You know? At what point? What if they become a little unhinged <laughs> and they keep messaging you? That's crazy what I'm shit? talking about. At, at that point, and you've you have already to said no. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I, I don't even think you have to respond after that initial text. Like, if they want more, like an explanation, gotcha. either direction. Like, you don't owe them anything. Like, you can just stop answering at that point. Go ahead and ghost. Mm. But I think give the initial, like, no thanks. There you go. Have you ever had to turn down a client because you got the vibe you was a creep? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. Well, just more like if I don't feel like I can help someone or I don't want to work with them, then I say no. I'm in right. a fortunate place in my business where I'm not, like, taking every client I can get. It's like I'm gotcha. at high school every day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't meet a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, you guys want to plug some stuff? I yeah, mean, yeah, up? Well, yeah. Guys, I mean, you. Yeah, so first off, you're you're on Instagram. I'm on Instagram, dating by Blaine. Okay. On across all social. Nice. Hell yeah. And uh, if you're having trouble, give her give her a look. Yeah. She's been Start very, approaching very girls awesome. also. My other plug is just approach girls. Approach. There you go. That's See, that's good. good about you. You seem like you really want people to get together. It's the I real do. deal. I want yeah. it. It's, it's the... like why I do what I do. It makes me so happy. That's great. Nothing makes me happier than when a client's like, oh my God, I met this woman. Like, She likes me back. That's great. I love to hear I it. I love that. Yeah, we got uh, Are You Garbage starting a big tour here. Yeah, love we got a big, got a big theater tour coming up. We're that's doing... The Tampa Theater in Tampa oh, in April, which I just saw you were at. Beautiful. Killer. Uh, we're doing a theater in Atlanta. We're doing one in Norwalk into the Wall Street or Wall Street Theater in Norwalk, Connecticut. The we're Wilma? doing the Wilbur. Ooh, we're doing Wilma. Town Hall and then a bunch more. But those are those are the big ones coming up that uh, we're gonna need some peeps out. Hell of. yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> uh, MarkNormanComedy.com. Go. I'm all over the place. Uh, Salt Lake City, Boise, Iowa. Uh, wait, Idaho? Where's Boise? Idaho. 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 <laughs> then we're going to Phoenix, Tucson, Austin, Raleigh. Hey, come to the Paramount. Yeah, I'll be there. Bring, bring the hubby. It's on me. What do you look like? Uh, <laughs> Are you him? <laughs> Can Charles I see his did. wiener? El Paso, Albuquerque. <laughs> can, I show my, can I show my kid your husband's wiener? <laughs> I'm in L.A. Sorry. Uh, come on out. Buy some bodega. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. What do you got there, I, I don't know when this comes out. OKC, Irvine, Salt Lake, and then a new special uh, at the Wilbur in Boston. Yeah, for shows. Yeah. It's going to be great. Uh, can't wait. And uh, bodega. <laughs> Jesus How do you Christ. Do How do you do this? I got a Jesus bum Christ. ticker over here. By the way, Jesus that's Christ. Christ. You ever know what it you? Give me a Lipitor, will you? Oh, my God. You scared the shit out of me. That's you're... only fun if you're the one doing it. Oh, but, but, I guess. Uh, by the way. In, Dick Cheney. In, Dude, I thought movies, I got shot. In Which movies, way does it go? I don't want In movies know. where there are shootouts. <laughs> Salcuse got a gun. <laughs> Man, Salcuse looks like a shooter, too. <laughs> yeah. I didn't yeah, face the kid, though. Oh, oh, hey, that was a good one. Yeah. Ooh, Happy right. Valentine's, you incels. <laughs> you guys are the best. Uh, see you guys soon and uh, see everyone on tour check out Blaine's stuff and uh, uh, we love you guys thank you buddy yeah, thank buddy. you for having us stay strong bird shit yeah <laughs> <laughs>